Hello everybody, how are you today? Today we are going to start with a new lesson. The topic is, why do beaches and deserts have sand? And I'm going to share with you important information. This is your science class. So do you know earth is full of rocks? You can see rocks in different places. For example, in the beaches or in the deserts. Sand is just a small particles of rock, as you can see here in the picture. Sand, what is sand? Here you have an example of sand. We can see sand in the desert and in the beach. Rocks. Rocks are made up of minerals. Yes, as you can see in the picture, the grains that are here are made up of minerals. Yes, we can see different type of minerals here and they are of different colors as well. What is a mineral? A mineral is a natural solid or non-living thing. The most common kind of mineral in rocks is called quartz. Yes. Here, you have some examples of this type of mineral. This is quartz. Quartz is hard crystal that looks like glass. Yes, as you can see here. And here in this picture, you can see different types of quartz. Yes of different colors, like purple, pink, white, and other colors. And here we have different types of minerals, yes, like quartz, phosphorus, nikos, yes. And here you can see different type of rocks, yes. Most of the sand on beaches and in the desert is made from quartz. So let's see again. Here we can see different type of quartz from different colors like purple, pink, and white. That is the reason why here we can see different color of sand. This sand is white, this is brown, this is like pink, and this is black sand. In the desert, as you can see in this example, in the Sahara Desert, we can see different color of sand. These are the colors of sand in this desert, Sahara Desert, yes. 
rocks are hard, as you know, but water can change the shape and size of rocks. And this is called weathering. So I'm going to give you an example. The wave crashes against the rock. Let's see. So this is an example. The wave crashed against the rock. And this is weathering. The water breaks down the rock. As you can see the picture. The water breaks down the rock into a small pieces. Yes. And the water run down and break some of the minerals. Over time, they become sand, as you can see here. And this is the result. So, we finished. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.